Welcome to Crypto Smasher. Here we do deep dives into all things crypto. If you want to stay informed of our content then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Full disclaimer, nothing in this video or other content on this channel is created as investment advice, only purely for informative purposes. In today's video, I will be talking about Paratoken and will point out why investors in this project need to be wary of the 4th of March. Paratoken is a decentralized community transparency token designed to challenge the operating parameters in the meme token space. The project is commendable with its 2% charity tax for veterans and their families. A look through the roadmap shows the project is in the second phase including a CERTIC audit which has yet to be submitted to CERTIC. Also I don't see much in the form of utilities on the roadmap. Paratoken has a current market capitalization of $10.4 million according to CoinMarketCap. However the 24-hour trading volume has dropped dramatically from $10 million when the token went public on the 28th of December 2021 to the present day, while the current 24-hour trading volume is around the $240,000 mark. The tokenomics shows a 10% buy sell fee. To highlight the risky elements of this project we will need to examine the results of a smart contract audit. In this audit there are four risky elements that I want to highlight. Number 1. The actual sell fee is exaggerated, to sell your token will cost 17% not the 10% the tokenomics indicates. This is a sign of artificial manipulation that could be used to catch out investors by increasing the sell fee to a crazy fee that makes it difficult for investors to sell tokens. Number 2. The project is a honeypot risk. Honeypots are basically funds or tokens where investor money gets stuck and can't leave. These are less obvious to the untrained eye and therefore also often difficult to detect. The source code contains a function which can modify the transaction fee. For instance the sell fee can be changed without the involvement of investors. Number 3. The contract is not renounced. This means the contract contains ownership functionality and ownership is not renounced which may allow the creator or current owner to modify contract features. The dev team can alter the terms of the contract exclusively without the participation of holders. This could be a necessity for the process to work but all the same it's a potential risk. Number 4. 92% of the project tokens are locked in Unicrypt. The lock on the wallet in question holding these tokens is set to expire on the 4th of March 2022. The management team should shed some light on what the plan is for these tokens. With all the contract features considered, it is not beyond the realms of possibility that the entire 92% of tokens could be sold on or after the lock on the wallet expires in just 14 days, that's a major risk for investors until the management team clarifies otherwise. Hope you got some fresh insight on this project. Thanks for your time today, see you in the next video.